What's up guys, it's Dwayne back again for another video, back again for another reaction and today's a wonderful, beautiful, amazing day because it's Halloween, Sweden Halloween to be precise. Typical <laughs> Swedish traditions during Halloween and All Saints Day. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction, let's go. I'm Swedish. All Saints Day is approaching. In Swedish we call it Alla Helgons Dag. This year... Alla Helgons Dag. Oh, okay. So you do celebrate Halloween. Alla Helgons Dag is on the 6th of November. But back in the old days, oh. it used to be on the 1st of November. But the the six, It's on the 6th of November, so it's not on the 31st of October like Halloween. Okay. It changed this, and now it always takes place on the first Sunday in November. So the date changes every year. Alla Helgonsta is an old Swedish tradition that Alla still Helgonsta. continues today. We also have Halloween, but this is quite new to us. Alla Helgonsta right. is- Right, so it's not Halloween, it's separate from Halloween. Okay, interesting. It's a real and original Swedish tradition. So what is the difference between Alla Helgon's Dag and Halloween? Yeah. Halloween is normally celebrated on the 31st of October and it only contains one day. Alla mm -hmm. Helgon Helgen consists of two days during the weekend. Alla Helgon's Dag on Saturday, Lörda, okay. and Alla Själas Dag on Alla Själas Dag. Sunday, Sunday. Alla Själas Dag means All Spirits Day. The tradition during this All weekend spirits. is a celebration mm. of the dead. So if you see an abnormal amount of candles being sold at the supermarket during this period, this is why. If you're going for a walk on this day, after it gets dark, we really recommend you to go by a cemetery because they're filled with candles and make for a beautiful cozy view. Wow, do you really do that? So do you go to all the cemeteries and put candles and like lanterns? That's amazing because it's like Spirits Day. So it's like honoring the spirits and like honoring people that have like left the earth, like your grandparents and great grandparents. That's actually quite lovely, actually. That's really lovely because you know what it is? Sometimes gravesides and graves... I don't know if you've ever, I don't know if this is the same thing in Sweden, but sometimes they get abandoned and like left and not treated very well, and people forget to go and visit their their loved ones at the cemetery and put put flowers down and maintain the graves. But I guess if you have this every year, I guess people are always cleaning up and like maintaining graves. So it's quite probably quite a nice thing to do. If you me sit. You normally go to the cemetery where your relatives are buried because you want to put a candle on their grave. In Stockholm, where I'm from, one of the most common places to go to is Skogskyrkogården. Skogskyrkogården. Did I say that? I tried. That's a long word. Partially because it's the biggest cemetery in Stockholm, but also because it's a magical place. So beautiful that it's part of UNESCO's World Heritage List. So even if some people don't have any relatives buried there, they still go to this place because it's so beautiful and they can still light a candle for them there. Skogskyrkogården, a very difficult name to pronounce in Swedish, <laughs> yeah. can be translated to the forest church forest garden church or the forest cemetery. Because Skogskyrkogård, church garden, it's really how we say cemetery in Swedish. Ah. So if you're going to be in Stockholm during this period of the year, we really recommend you to go to Skogskyrkogården because here you will see all the Swedish rituals during Alla Helgons Dag. Wow, I never knew you guys had, had I didn't, I didn't, I've never heard of Alla Helgons Dag and like I didn't know you did all this. That's, that's um, really cool. It's a really nice tradition. Like ten that use, lighting up a candle for the dead. On these days, Swedish churches will be full of people and their cemeteries as well. This is actually the time of the year where the Swedish churches receive the most visits of the whole year. Wow. Even more than during Christmas and Easter. Wow. So be even more than Christmas and Easter, you guys go to the church on Alla Helgens Dag. Be prepared for long queues to enter the churches and the cemeteries and also long queues to buy these candles. It is actually a very, very good idea 
to start a candle business during this time of the year because you're gonna make a lot of money. Like I said before, among teenagers and kids, Halloween is getting very, very popular here. So it's not rare that they will organize Halloween parties or what we call Halloween Fester. You will also see more and more kids going out in the neighborhood doing the trick and treat, just that they do it the Swedish version. And the Swedish version is called Buselegodis. Buselegodis. Thank you, she said. Which can be translated to mischief or candy. Bus uh, is the word bus. for mischief, and don't mix it up with bus. Bus, bus. bus. And the Buselegodis tradition is quite similar to the American one. Kids will be running around in the neighborhood, knocking on the door, asking for goodies. And if you don't have any goodies to give them, then they might do something boosted, like throwing toilet paper on your house. <laughs> so better be prepared and always have some goodies at your place. And following always that have Halloween theme, we have some spooky words for you. So maybe you will see a spöke knocking on your door. Spöke. And if it's not a spöke, it might be an hexa. And if it's an not an hexa, that's a witch. Hexa, it hexa. might be a vampire. All these vampire. very scary creatures that you might meet during Halloween. Yet the leskit. Yet the leskit. Leskit is how we say leskit. scary in Swedish. Leskig ah. would be the word we leskit. use if we talk about an N ord or if we talk about a person, someone. For example, en läske hexa. En läske. En läske hexa. Scary witch. Or Anders är läskig. Anders is scary. Anders är läskig. Oh, I love. Oh, that's Bill. That's Bill Skarsgård. He was amazing in it. He was amazing in it. Both, both movies. Um, and also on my Patreon, link in the description, we're watching Clark. Uh, I'll just finish watching Clark. Um, if you guys want to get involved in there, watch that with me. He is so good in Clark, playing Clark Olufsen. So good, so good. And then we have Leskit with a T Leskit. in the end. And this is for Edwards. For example, Et Leskit Spöke. A scary a ghost. ghost. But you would also okay. use this version if you want to say it is scary. Det är läskigt. Det är läskigt. And then we have läskiga with an A in the end. And this is used for plural and no matter if it's an ett ord or an en ord. For example, läskiga barn, scary läskiga children. Barn. But there's nothing more scary than trying to use the N and ett words. Det är läskigt. And also, talking about läskigt, there's another word that also sounds a little bit läskigt. And that is läsk. Läsk is our lesk. word for soda, which doesn't make ah, any sense. But your soda's not scary. <laughs> until your dentist tells you how much sugar there is in a läsk. And dentist can also be a little bit läskiga. <laughs> She's just reminded me, I need to go to the dentist. <laughs> Guys, I've got a really bad toothache on this side. I know this is not part of the video, but I've got a really bad toothache on this side of my mouth. And yeah, I need to go to the dentist. I haven't been for a very long time because like, I've just not had any problems with my teeth, but I need to go. So she reminded me, thank you very much. <laughs> Moving on. But before we do that, don't forget to put a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet. And subscribe to my channel and her channel as well. Another very useful word during this time of the year is this thing. En pumpa. Pum. En pumpa. Pumpkin. That is how we say pumpkin in Swedish. And like in many countries, also here in Sweden, we love to decorate our houses with pumpur, pumpkins, pum -pum. during this time of the year. Min pumpa. My pumpkin. Min pumpa. If you want to know more words related to this topic, write them down in the comment section below. And if you want to know more about Sweden... That was really interesting. That was really, really good. Let me see. Yeah. Funswedish.com. It's a good way to learn English. Maybe I should learn English on her website. I might do. Um, did I do well with the pronunciations? I try. <laughs> this is really good. Really, really good. And I've learned about Allerhelgenstag. 
Um, so now I know you guys have a tradition. Your tradition is so lovely to put, to go to a graveside and put some candles down for your loved ones and just spend some time with them. That's really nice. And maintain the grave every year. That's lovely. That is a lovely tradition. I wish we had that tradition in the UK. We don't have that tradition in the UK yet. A lot of the time, gravesides get abandoned. So maybe we should have a Hilligan's dog in the UK. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I will see. Have a happy Halloween. I'll see you soon.